Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be putting on a set of pack brake airbags on a 2021 Ford F-350 single wheel. Today's trucks are designed to tow more and haul more than they ever have been before. Now, with that, we're getting trailers that are much, much bigger than they were 20 years ago going behind light duty trucks. Inner Pack Brakes Alpha HD Airbag Kit. This is a brand new lineup of kits for your light duty trucks that Pack Brake has come out with. We're gonna link you inside of this video where we do an unboxing on this kit and tell you some of the technical aspects of it. I'm gonna kind of give you a cliff notes version of that as I'm unpacking this and getting it ready for installation as well. Now, with the Alpha HD Air Spring Kit, what you're looking for in air springs, why do you put these on your truck or airbags on your truck? You're looking for better ride control. You're looking to keep your truck from basically bottoming them out with these big trailers that we're towing to in today's world. Um, just better, just overall better drivability. Because when you're pulling 10, 20, 30,000 pounds between these, behind these light duty trucks, you've got to be able to control it. And this is one of the things that is going to go on your truck that is going to help you to be able to do that. Now, the airbags themselves, the design of the kit is, is great. This is a no cutting, no drilling kit going on this 2021 Ford F-350. Now, the design of this kit, the bracketry is really, really good. Again, check our video on our unboxing out. But the air springs are really the highlight of the kit. These are a one piece aluminum uh, end cap design. The bag is as tough a bag as you will find out there on the market, especially going in a light duty truck. This is a 20 wire kit, so the damn thing is very, very rigid, very, very strong airbags. This is a truck, this is a bag that for your safety, is what you want on the truck for sure. So we're gonna do a quick installation on this today. We're actually gonna break this video up into two separate videos. We're gonna do the installation of the airbags for you guys that just want the airbags on your truck and you're gonna use the manual valve to fill it up with an air compressor or something of that nature. And then we're going to do a secondary video where we introduce you to Pack Brakes uh, air compressor kit with their app-based controller for controlling these air springs. So let's go ahead and get started with our installation. All right, we got a little bit of uh, pre-assembly to do before we actually get underneath the truck. So a couple of things. First thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to get inside of the kit and we're gonna to wanna to get the air valve out of the kit and install that into the air springs themselves. So what we're gonna do there is it's already got a little bit of sealant on it. You can see the red color there, but I wanna add a little bit of Teflon tape to that. And just to make sure that we've got a good seal on this because the air leak is what you don't want with these. Then we'll go ahead and install the valve itself. And we'll tighten it down to where you can't turn it by hand anymore. And then this is a tapered thread. So you're probably looking at about turn, turn and a half to seal it. So not much. All right. Then you're gonna to want to look inside of your kit and all of the plates that are same, the part number on the plates is HP10054. You just wanna get one of these plates. You have the orientation for the air valve is gonna go right there. Just sit it on the top. Then you're gonna to wanna to get one of your brackets, one of these powder coated brackets that come from pack brake and it can only orient one way. This will be access for your airline. And then you have your two uh, tapered holes here that are gonna be used for the bolts inside the kit. There are these tapered bolts that will go on to this. So you're gonna go ahead and just install those and tighten them down. 20 foot pounds is the torque spec that we're looking for on this. And I have my plate lined up. 20 foot pounds is the torque measure that we're gonna be looking for on these. And 730 seconds Allen head is what we are going to be using to tighten them down. So that will really complete the, um, it will complete the pre-installation on our airbags themselves. And again, 20 foot pounds of torque on the bolts holding the airbags to the upper plate. All right, now we're going to go ahead and assemble the lower bracket. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need these flat stock plates that have the recesses in them. You're gonna need uh, your lower bracket and then the upper bracket of the lower bracketry. Come on, and uh, let me move the card in there where you can see it just a little bit better. So, also going to need the bolts and nylock nuts in the kit uh, that you have. You will need for each one of the sides. You're going to need 
two bolts, two nylock nuts, and two flat washers here. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble this. And as you assemble it, what you're looking for is you're looking to make sure that the flat stock that you're gonna be putting on the inside, it's recessed to catch these bolts. So the hex head of the bolt will go in there and uh, will, will be held. So you just go ahead and pop your two bolts through here. Take the, on the bracket, you're gonna want the two flat portions of the bracket and then this outer portion of this of this upper bracket to face outward of that. So here's what the assembly looks like. Okay, then you take your flat stock piece and you're just going to go ahead and insert it in the hole with the bolts going out, such as so. Place a flat washer on there, a nylock nut, another flat washer and a nylock nut. And you're gonna to wanna to tighten that up. Now, you only wanna tighten this tight enough to where you still have movement and that the bolt doesn't fall out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So you're gonna to wanna to record your stock ride height on the vehicle before you remove your, your tires and wheels. You wanna remove the tires and the wheels from the rear of the truck before you put your airbags on. But before you do that, you're going to record your stock ride height. This is just a point of reference of what the vehicle is at. So to measure it, you can do it however you wanna do it, whatever's best for you as far as reference goes. But I go center of the wheel cap and to the bottom of the fender. So on this is 26 inches and I wanna get the front as well because obviously rake is going to change the ride height um, front to back. So we're going to have that point of reference. That way we know what stock ride height is then when we inflate the bags, what the ride height at that point is gonna be, that's gonna let you know, hey, I'm gaining you know, X amount of distance. I need to know this for my trailers. You may have to do some different things with your trailer neck setups or your hitch heights or anything of that nature. So just a good thing to, to have. So note your ride height on all four corners of the truck and record it in your instructions for future use. All right, your next step, after you remove the tires and wheels is you're gonna to want to remove the bump stops. Side note, pack brake and their instru instructions call this a jounce bumper. So jounce bumper, we're gonna be removing that, but I'm not gonna say jounce bumper anymore in this video. They're bump stops. So we're gonna remove those. 15 metric to remove them. These are on little nut cert. So what'll happen is once we pull this out, we'll have to remove all the other hardware in the frame uh, to clear the frame out. So. bump stop out and what will happen with those little those little bolt inserts is those little they'll just slide and that'll unlock them from the frame and then we can just go ahead and just pull those out so we're gonna go ahead and remove those now and then we will cut back and show you our lower bracketry going on I want to show you how these little bolt certs come out for the bump stops here from forward. Now these got these little keeper tabs that go inside of there. They're actually what keep it from walking back and forth. So what you want to do is you've got to release those tabs and that's kind of a bad way to explain it. But what you just want to do is just take a screwdriver, get between the frame and one of those bolt certs and you just prise that down and then that gives you access to be able to walk it back and forth to get those out. All right, we're gonna be go ahead and we're gonna be installing our lower air spring mounts. So I wanted to show you outside of the truck how this actually hooks on. There are tabs on the outside portion of this bracket and those tabs actually hook underneath of the leaf spring perch that you'll see right here. Now, very important, if you install um, your lower air spring brackets and they touch the U-bolts from the truck, the U-bolts for, uh, for the leaf springs, then you're good to go. If they don't touch, if there's a gap of any kind there, you wanna put these spacers that are included in the pack brake kit on. So when you put your bracket in, the outside portion of the, of the lower spring uh, mount will, will point towards the inside of the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this. Now this is passenger side. Passenger side is a little bit easier because you don't have quite as much ABS bracketry as you do on the driver's side, but we're gonna show you doing the driver's side too. Easiest way I've found to put those in is just kind of start them with the nose up and then just slide it in so it slides over that perch right there. All right, and then when you insert your shims, 
you're going to want to insert the shim so that the stair steps there will actually catch the leaf spring perch so they go between the u-bolt and the thing i'm going to show that from the other side as well okay it goes just like that now you kind of got to have a little bit of take your u-bolt comes in the kit and that's actually just going to go on the outside of the leaf spring of the truck's leaf spring and I'm going to get it started in my shim so that it holds the shim just like so. I'm going to put my shim in on the inside portion and then my U-bolt will go in just fine like so. All right so now you want to put a washer and a nut on here just to hold it and leave everything loose so you can make your adjustments. All right, we're gonna go ahead and install our axle straps on the passenger side here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do, this ABS line and brake line here, we looked at this and thought maybe the ABS line needs to come down, but it doesn't. So when you install your long carriage bolts on the back side of it, you want it to go inside of the ABS line and actually inside of the brake line as well I, I apologize inside the abs line outside the brake line and what that's going to do is that's going to allow you allow the axle strap to catch without making contact with the brake line so they've got that engineered correctly so that it clears everything there Get seated there. So we'll go ahead and throw our axle strap on from the kit. There you go. Flat washer and a nylock nut. And you're good to go there all right so that's got everything mounted and loose over here on the driver or on the passenger side so we're ready to get everything aligned you can zip that up if you want to just a little bit just to kind of put a little tension on it so it doesn't go anywhere but you should be fine so let's move over to the driver's side all right we moved over to the driver's side now the driver's side is a little trickier to get the uh, airbag lower mount on so i'm going to show you uh, what we want to do and what we're going to pay attention to here so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to release the clip for the abs line on the driver's side over here did i say we we're on the passenger side we're on the driver's side I apologize it's, it's a monday on a friday by releasing this clip this gives us uh this just gives, gives us space to work inside the line and I'm gonna show you something that we do that doesn't tell you in the instructions, but I think it's the right thing to do. So your park and brake cable has got a standard that holds it up, holds it to the axle here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna release this. We're just gonna remove the bolt. And I'm gonna show you what we wind up doing with this because once you put your axle straps on, we find that this bolt to be in the way. So I'm gonna completely remove the bolt, just like so. And then that gives us all the room to move this bracket wherever we need to. Now we'll come back to that, but just know that that's what we're, that's what we're working on right there. All right. So now putting your lower spring mount in, what I like to do is I'll get, let Adam get back over here. Here he comes. There he is. So what we do is when we put the lower spring mount in, we like to go ahead and start it. So this is the nose, just nose up like this. And then I turn it, and then what that does is that lets us engage that lower gate, that lower spring perch, and it pretty much just falls right on. So when you set that in there, you want to make sure that you keep the ABS line out of the way. Then another thing that you're looking for you're, is you're looking for this brake line to make contact with this bracket. So just gently, really gently, just pull that back and give yourself some space there. And that's, that's all it took right there. I've got plenty of a gap there, so we're good to go. So same thing as we did on the other side. 
we're going to put the spacers in just like we did on the other side and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and throw my spacers in put my axle straps on you all have already seen that but what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back around and show you what we do with the parking brake standard all right so talking more about our uh the clearance problems that we had with this um this parking brake guide so what you can do in the parking brake has actually got a, a, a coating that goes pretty good ways up the cable to where you could actually move this so that's what we're going to do we're just going to take this parking brake uh, guide here we're going to move it to the other side and we're going to run the bolt in from the other way and tighten it down and that's going to give us plenty clearance for our pack brake lower air cradle lower air spring cradle so stuff like this you know keeps the install clean make sure you put this back don't just leave it off make sure you put it back and uh, there you go so there it is tightened up and that gives us plenty of clearance and um, we also like to leave the brake lines the instructions will tell you that, that there is one brake line that's going to make contact here and just to bend it out of your way gently bend it out of your way we don't like to do that until we actually get the air spring on and get the height adjusted to see where the height is going to be before we make that clearance so we will show you all of that once we get everything on the truck. All right, we're gonna put our barrel clips in now. Then the way you wanna orient these, you want the open end of the clip to face uh, towards the outside or towards the front of the truck. You're gonna want the open ends of the clips to face away from each other. So just push this in that hole and go in the same recess that the other one was in for your, uh, your bump stops. And the threader portion will go down, of course. So we've got the closed end of those clips facing each other, open ends facing away. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take our spring, and we want our spring, the air valve side of this, oriented to the inside of the truck. We'll go ahead and slide that in. And the bag is completely compressible right now, so don't, don't sweat it. All right, then two bolts inside of the kit. They're fine thread with washers. Let's we'll go ahead and install those. And like I said, you can manipulate it however you need to to get it started. We just want to leave everything loose right now while we're fitting everything up as well. So you can just tighten this up to where your, your bag's not going to go anywhere, but you want to leave it loose enough so that you can get your final fitment. So with the bags up like this, the problem that you run into with the, with the axle supporting everything is you can't get to the bottom of your bag here to be able to, to get to the bolts. So what we're gonna do now is, Adam and I are gonna put the wheels back on the truck and we're gonna move this jack to the frame and then that way we're gonna, we can raise and lower the frames because what you're trying to do here is you're trying to get enough space to raise this bracket to be able to get bolts to it uh, from underneath of it. So the way pack brake has got this made, and, and again, I've got the top of this loose. I've got everything loose, so we'll go back and do our final torques. But the way pack brake has this bracket made is what we have to do is we have to pick this lower bracket up. And when we pick that lower bracket up, that gives us access to the, the last two bolts that are needed for the air spring. So kind of sucks to have to do that but i mean it's really not that big of a deal if you choose to 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 do this on the ground which most of you guys are going to do this on the ground in fact all of you guys are going to do this on the ground it's a little bit easier the working conditions aren't as as good as having a lift like this but it's a little bit easier because you can move it and do what you want to do so we're going to go ahead and throw the wheels back on it it's going to cut our light down just a little bit but we'll we'll do our best to get the shots that we need here so we'll, we'll slap our wheels back on then we'll move this to the frame and, and show you putting the last two bolts in all right now it's time to put our lower uh, bolts in and you can see that we have we've got pretty good clearance between the uh, lower frame pack brakes lower frame here and the bag itself and the way that we got that again was we got the truck off the jack stands and the axle off the jack stands and we just raised up the frame of the truck so what we have to do now is get your um is get your plates for the bags and you want to go ahead and put this with the concave side down i guess is the way to say it and then you want to get everything lined up there and then this is going to give you enough clearance to where you can start your bolts for the lowers and let me show you the bolts for the lowers they're the shortest carried they're the shorter bolts here and you want to put a lock washer on the bottom of them and then a flat washer 
and then you're right here underneath of this plate. So what I think that is best for us here is we're gonna line the plate up with the bag and then we're just gonna lift that bottom plate up and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just tighten this one bolt on this plate. And what that'll do is that leave my bottom plate up. I've still got slack to work with my bag and I can get my bolts through there just like that. So that's gonna be the easiest way to attack that for me. So we're gonna go ahead and, and this is just one of those things you just gotta grab it and growl. The bolt is in a, the slots for these are in a tight space. So we will go ahead and work to get those bolts installed right there. No real magic way to do this that I can tell you about, folks. It's just one of those things you just gotta get in there and get it and do whatever works for you the easiest. So I'm gonna line my plates up there and then push everything to get everything lined up and away we go. So we'll go ahead and get those bolts started in the bottom of the bag. All right, we finally got the two bolts in the bottom of the airbags and I'm gonna tell you what the trick is to that. First off, it's it's a it can be a very tedious job because you've got to you got to get in there and you it's just it's just not 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 comfortable um the easiest way to do that is to drop a uh one of the nuts off the axle strap and one off the u-bolt and then that gives you to where you can move everything around real well you just keep fighting it and eventually you'll get it so what we're doing now is we're going through and we're tightening up everything that we've left loose save for the four bolts that uh, do the lower air spring mount. So what we're going to be, and while we're working on this, what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep the, the bag, the air spring as level as we can. So we don't want it to be cocked out to the side like that. We want it to be straight up and down with itself, perpendicular with, or straight up and down with itself. Yeah, straight up and down with itself and to keep everything straight. So what I'm, I've already tightened up my top two bolts and I'm gonna work from there. Next, I'm gonna be going over to the U-strap bolt that is around the axle. So we're gonna tighten this down. We're gonna alternate on this and tighten this down to about 20 foot pounds. It's gonna be our torque spec on the U-bolts. So just kind of let the U-bolt ride where it wants to be in a natural position and then work back and forth here to keep everything lined up. So we'll do the U-bolts first, and then we're gonna do the axle straps right after that. Um, All right, so we have our U-bolts tight, we have our axle straps tight, and we've still got our four bolts on the pedestal loose, and then we've still got our two bolts holding the bottom of the bag loose. So what we're gonna do with this is we're going to check it again for straightness here, and we want the bag straight as best we can get it and go ahead and tighten down your bottom bolts here for the bags now these are going to be tw uh going to be 20 foot pounds as well i don't think you're going to be able to get in here and get a torque wrench on this so just get it tightened down it's, it's got a lock washer on it so you're okay all right so what we want to talk about now is we want to talk about having to go ahead and button down these four uh, these four bolts on each one of the lower blocks if you have a truck that has the lift block on it, the tang uh, is out. You just want this to rest on that block when you set the truck down. I'm gonna show you what the truck looks like when it's articulating there. And right there. So couple of different points on that. So I want to, I want the truck to come down smoothly. Again, you all are not going to have a lift in your, in your driveway to be able to do that. But you guys that do have shops, if that bag will, the bag bracketry will articulate up and down like that, you're going to probably have a smooth running bag. Uh, even though the brackets do not articulate, we're going to tighten those down. So now back to my original point. What you want to do is you want to set the truck back down until this bracket is just touching the um, until the bracket is just touching the this bracket or the lift bracket which will be just a little bit higher than that if your truck is equipped with one and you'll know 
what that looks like if you have one, of course. So I wanna set that down just a little bit more. So yeah, and that's fully down. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and tighten these out. Now you're gonna, this is gonna be a little bit different tightening uh, number. This is gonna tighten to 38 foot pounds to get all these tight. So you wanna tighten all four of those up and then we're gonna put our heat shield on. Pack break includes a couple of heat shields for you in the kit. They have uh, larger band clamps to fit around this rear resonator. So we just, you know, you just bend your tabs out to where you can get the band clamps on there and then just put them wherever you think closest contact points to the uh, to the bags. So you'll get one here on this resonator and then you'll get one at the very top to keep heat off of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and install these and, and then we'll show you um, what to do on the airlines and what comes in the airline kit. We will not be installing airlines on these bags uh, because we are gonna be doing a separate video that we'll link you to inside of this video that will show you how to do a compressor setup. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on and then we'll then we'll cut back and show you airlines. All right, well that concludes our airbag install or pack brake airbag install. So this video will be standalone. If you're just curious as to how the bags will fit on your newer model Ford truck, this video is what that's gonna be for. Now, again, um, this video is gonna be coupled with the installation of a pack brake air compressor setup and a wireless app that we're gonna be installing on this truck. So we'll link you inside of this video to be able to get to that uh, video that, so that you can watch it. But if this is your stopping point, you're not gonna get the air compressor and the onboard controllers. Your airlines for the airbags are the last thing that you're gonna install. The, you'll remember, you'll recall on the airbags themselves, there's just a push to lock connection. So on this nylon line, you just simply push it in there. It locks itself down. If you have to release it, brass tab in the center of it, circular, push it down, releases the line. Then most people will run these lines out and they'll put them around uh, somewhere around their uh, around their license plate or whatever. You just want to be able to be able to access the lines, to be able to air the lines up so you can air your bags up and check the pressures on it because it's critical. You have to run it at the very bare minimum 10 PSI in these bags at all times. Maximum pressure that you can put in them is 100 PSI. So 10 PSI minimum has to go in these bags before they get drove and, and weight put on them. So yeah, um, this pack brake install, I'm gonna be honest with you, a little bit tricky as far as getting everything lined up and the way it goes. Uh, so you've just got to have maybe an extra set of hands to be able to help you with it, but is it something that you can do in your driveway? Absolutely, it's something you can do in your driveway. However, an extra set of hands goes a long way in doing this kit and being able to get it on the truck. But quality products, or a quality product, quality uh, workmanship on this, uh, you know, again, trucks today are probably towing more than a light duty truck really should. Uh, a set of airbags is really gonna go a long way and be able to help you control what you're what you're pulling and be able to just keep you safe. So I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel. If you have a question about this video or any pack brake products, just give us a call. We appreciate it if you like, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.